السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈس ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس اے ویری بگ پوائنٹ فار سیفٹی وائل وی آر ورکنگ ان دا پرائمری سائٹ آف اینی سوئچ موڈ پاور سپلائی اسپیشلی ان دا ڈی سی لائن آئی اپلائڈ پاور ٹو ہنڈریڈ ٹوینٹی وولٹ اینڈ آئی ایم ٹیکنگ وولٹیج ایٹ دس ڈی سی کیپیسٹر سیٹ ملٹی میٹر ٹو ڈی سی I am taking 318 volt DC at the DC capacitor while I applied 224 volt AC on the input terminal. Now I will remove the AC power. I removed power from the primary but I still have DC voltage on the capacitor and if I want to test or remove any component or I want to touch it it is very dangerous some power supplies you can see the voltage are still stable let's discuss something and we will check the voltage again in some power supply circuits AC input is applied to the bridge rectifier then it is capacitor applied to the capacitor if the next circuit is off it is not working then this capacitor will maintain charge and if the circuit is good and the capacitor is good quality maybe it will take 24 hours or more and it will hold the charge but in some power supplies in some circuits there there is a, capa- a resistor across this smoothing capacitor, bulk DC capacitor that is called bleeder resistor it is normal in 100 kilo ohm, 200 kilo ohms so when the power is removed so the capacitor will discharge across this resistor so it is for safety these two resistors 1 and 2 these are connected across these two capacitors where are that if we see this point it is negative terminal of this capacitor so from negative terminal I have one resistor from this point to this, this terminal so this resistor here it is across this capacitor and this resistor from this point to this point it is across this capacitor so it is bleeder resistor we have two capacitors and two bleed resistors so when the power is removed from this power supply these resistors will discharge these capacitors some power saving circuits and that are encased in some plastic casing they don't use these resistors because it is a continuous power dissipation some in some power supplies we can find this resistor and in some power supplies we can we cannot find this resistor so bleeder resistor will discharge this capacitor and here the capacitor will maintain the voltage. If we don't have a resistor here across this capacitor, it can cause a very dangerous electrical shock. Let's check the voltage again. Still I have 308 ohm, uh, volt. Even it is approximately we can say 5 minutes. So we have to discharge this capacitor. To discharge this capacitor, if we make short circuit by any screwdriver, by any tweezer, anything, that can cause a dangerous electrical shock and it, it can spark and it will also reduce the life of this capacitor. And also the sparking can damage the print of the PCB. So for more safety, I use this 100 kilo ohm resistor, 1 watt, 100k resistor, 100 kilo ohm resistor, 1 watt, and I connect it to these test sockets and set multimeter to volt. And we can use a pair of test leads. You can purchase a cheaper one 
because we are using to discharge this circuit I am using a universal test lead so I connected crocodiles here alligators in the one side and the second side I am using the test tips if you purchase a simple lead you can cut it and you can sold across this resistor and I connect voltmeter here now we can connect these test leads to the test terminal and it will dis discharge the capacitor and we are monitoring the voltage level at this capacitor it is 100 kilo ohm resistor and it will discharge in milli amperes but the capacitor is discharging fastly if we will not discharge it, discharge it through this resistor we will check the voltage again now it will discharge very slowly because I am using the multimeter so if we use our this capacitor discharge circuit it is very simple we can cover in some small box and we can use these two test terminals test sockets these are available very easily and much cheaper we, we have to just purchase one test lead test probe set and uh, we can use a 100 kilo ohm resistor 1 watt and we can encase uh, some box and just only enter the leads from one side and the second side connect these test sockets and use multimeter and now we can see our capacitor is discharging fastly if you want to make a fast discharge you can use 100 kilo ohms resistor 1 watt in parallel 2 resistors it will become 50 kilo ohm now it is discharging fastly we can say it is very useful for safety because when working on any equipment if we have a voltage hidden voltage these are silent but if anyone will touch this power supply that means it is it have no power but if the power is applied as I told even after one day after 24 hours there will be approximately we can say 200 volts that is too dangerous so we can make this circuit and this circuit will help us to discharge this capacitor so this circuit will make a quick discharge for this capacitor so we will be we will save because while working the safety must be first priority i hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question please let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh